welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a collective reading for the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun and Rising, and Venus in the North Node. I am doing all signs at once, so take what resonates, air signs, and we will go ahead and get started. So you guys have Chariot. Um, with the Chariot, I feel like you guys are passionately moving towards something that you want. You're finally taking that initiative. You have left behind all of like the emotions moving forward in a positive direction to achieve the things that you want. Um, you could have seen the light of something or you've been illuminated to some type of truth that is no longer holding you back. You're in control of your life with the chariot. It's like taking the reins. You're in the driver's seat of that car of your life and you are pushing forward very passionately. Lots of drive, lots of direction, lots of motivation and ambition is what I'm seeing for you guys. And with this crystal, um, I forget what it's called, but I know it has like mica inclusions. Um, it's actually really, really pretty. So there's a little bit of candle wax on there. So sorry, guys. But this is basically, um, because it was really connected to the green crystal, I feel like you guys are healing your heart chakra and you're ready to go after the things that you want. With the page of cups, you could be receiving an apology from someone that has a lot of love to give you, but they haven't been able to tell you how they feel. And there's an apology of some sort. Yes, coming towards you, queen of swords. Okay, so you have an apology coming from someone who feels really bad, but with the Queen of Swords, I feel like this your energy of Libra is showing up, right? So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you guys are very, like, she's very focused on what she wants, and it's like she has, this kind of reminds me of Mortal Kombat with Katana and, like, her swords on her um, fan. So if you guys are gamers or you've ever seen the video game Mortal Kombat, Katana is like a total badass, total Queen of Swords vibe. Like she doesn't take any BS from anybody. So if you have an apology from someone, you're going to be like very like looking at them dead in the eye. Like, are you being honest with me? Because if not, I don't want anything to do with you. Like you take no BS from anyone. Um, this person is a page though. They're going to apologize for their behavior or something of some sort. But with the page of pentacles or page of coins, they are holding back a little bit of their energy towards you but it's almost like they feel like you can't read them but you totally can so even if they're not being honest this person whoever apologizes whether it's a taurus or a capricorn coming back into your life um gemini libra aquarius you guys know if they're going to be lying so this earth sign better be careful about how they approach you because you can totally see right through them your <laughs> crown chakra is fully activated Okay, so this random message for you, Libra. Okay, so yeah, Libras are coming through really strong with the air messages, but I also feel like balance is going to be restored for air signs in general. Karma, karmic justice will be served is what I'm seeing. And then with this card, my Oracle of Love message from your person that you're thinking of, if you're involved with someone romantically and they have a message or from your next person, the message is I'm ready to come towards you. And that makes perfect sense because we had the chariot card. And the chariot is all about moving forward passionately towards you. So you do have someone coming towards you. I see you moving passionately towards the things that you want. Someone's coming towards you for an apology because they want to connect with you. And then this is my uh, new oracle cards that I just got in the mail today. Actually, a couple days ago. But it's from the Fire Witch Tarot. And this is if you have a twin, twin flame soulmate. Um, if you haven't met them or if you have met them and you want to know what their messages from their higher self. Oh, wow. Okay. I want to be inside you now. So this person really, really wants to be with you. They are determined to come towards you. I don't feel like this is you, air signs. I feel like someone is heavily focused to be with you and nothing is stopping this person from approaching you. Okay. Then we have the Oracle of Time. I just made these Oracle cards to give us some help with timing when this is going to happen or just any significant messages with timing for you. 411, so additional information will be given to you, maybe from your twin flame or just in general, about the situation. And the, um, we're hearing in the next few weeks, but with the Oracle of Time, we have June. So you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, but we were heavily influenced by Gemini energy, right? So June is significant for you. This person's going to come towards you in this month of June. This person could be a Gemini approaching you or they're making a decision in June to approach you. So June will be very significant. And I feel like the time is now is what I'm hearing. So this person could be approaching you within the next few weeks. Like I said, 444 balance is being restored. You could be seeing 444 a lot. I feel like they want to hear, hear, oh, I'm hearing hear me out. So this person wants to express themselves and tell you what really happened. They want to communicate to you and that's why they're coming towards you. 
I was going to say they want to heal the relationship, but I feel like they really want to come towards you. The next seven days is what I'm getting. Um, You could be receiving messages from someone. Those are the messages. Air signs, let me know if that resonates. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap on the notifications bell so you get all my updated videos. And thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.